Aye. And I call Samantha Campbell, MP for North East Fife. I want to support this motion. In passing, may I say uh, I'm agnostic about the bishops. I hope that doesn't cause them any annoyance. But I want to support this motion because my constituency of East Fife is largely composed uh, of North East Fife is largely composed of the constituency of East Fife of Herbert Asquith. And as the motion recognises, and as we've already heard this afternoon, it is 100 years since Asquith's great Liberal government brought the House of Lords to heel. And if 100 years ago you had told Asquith that there would still, in 2011, be an unrepresentative House of Lords, not based upon the democratic principle, he simply wouldn't have believed you. Now, my purpose in speaking today may not make me particularly popular in the House of Lords, but I detect that on the part of some of our Liberal Democrat colleagues there, there's a certain reluctance to adopt unequivocally, completely and absolutely, the party policy on this issue. And the policy has been laid down for many years that we are in favour of a wholly or mainly elected House of Lords. And I know there's a, distinct, there's a distinction, a difference of opinion uh, about the question of which of these two alternatives it should be. But there has never been any reluctance to endorse the principle of a democratic mandate. And that's why this motion is so important. Now, when peers go to the House of Liberal Democrat, peers go to the House of Lords, we don't mandate them. We don't command them, we don't instruct them, we expect them, indeed they're entitled, to use their own discretion to exercise their own judgment. But I have to say to you this, I don't believe that any Liberal Democrat peer in the House of Lords could possibly live with himself or herself if they were to do anything other than to subscribe to the policy of holy and mainly elected. There are a variety of alternatives. There are a variety of alternatives being floated around. But there should be no shrinking from the determination to ensure that we have a second chamber bound to the mast of the democratic principle. And since I've used a nautical analogy, let me finish by saying Liberal Democrats expect their representatives in the House of Lords to do their duty. Thank you very much.